Jacob Kewell was ready for a new challenge in 1893. As a young man, he had immigrated from Prussia to the United States. In America, the land of opportunity, Jacob tried his hand at working as a farmer, as a butcher, and as a hotel manager. Finally, he decided to open a brewery in Fergus Falls in 1885. When it burned down eight years later, he moved to town and purchased the Little Falls Brewing Company. Within a few years, it was shipping White Rose and security beer throughout north-central Minnesota, leading Jacob to buy a brewery in Crookston so that they could expand farther west. 1906 was a big year for the Kewels. With his sons becoming a part of the family business, Jacob incorporated as the Kewell Brewing Company. They looked for other sources of income, including cream of malt tonic, a light stimulant to build up strength and vigor. The Kewell family also decided to invest in several business blocks in downtown Little Falls. This building was completed in 1907, with a large hall on the second floor to be used for dances and social events. Downstairs, the space was rented to several hardware stores over the years. By 1913, the company was the fifth largest employer in the city. When Prohibition became the law of the land, the Keewills continued to make near beer, but also produced ice cream, condensed milk, and candy. One son, Charles, headed north of the border and opened a brewery in Canada. Having survived Prohibition, in 1933, the Keewills returned to brewing beer. They also sold this building to Hans Bars, who opened his own hardware store. A newspaper article noted, with approval, the new scientific scheme of hardware display that places all merchandise in plain sight. But times were tough during the Great Depression. Jack Bars remembers how his father used a barter system. If you were a farmer and wanted a new cook stove, he would start asking him what he had to trade. The farmer would say, well, I've got a woodpile or a steer or would do labor. Both the brewery and the hardware store survived those tough years. But by the 1950s, the Kewell Brewing Company had fallen victim to competition from national brands. In 1982, the old brewery was torn down, leaving this building as one of the last reminders of a great local beer. <laughs>